Breaking news today. Notices to evacuate have been sent to Palestinians in certain areas of southern Gaza. On Thursday, residents of southern Gaza reported receiving evacuation orders. Israeli forces started searching a hospital in northern Gaza the day before, claiming that militants from Hamas operate there. Both the hospital and Hamas deny the accusation. This search comes as a signal that fighting is about to expand in the south. The Israeli commitment to eliminate Hamas following the militant group's October 7 incursion has become a symbol of the immense suffering endured by Palestinian civilians. Saudi Arabia denounced the raid on Shifa Hospital on Thursday, adding fuel to the fire. The majority of Israel's 1,200 casualties occurred during the initial assault, and militants captured an additional 240. Despite Israeli claims that it found weapons and equipment belonging to Hamas in Shifa, the Israeli military has failed to produce any proof of the hospital's alleged use as a command center. Despite Israeli assertions to the contrary, the Associated Press was unable to confirm the discovery of weapons within the hospital. The World Health Organization reported on Wednesday that out of all the hospitals in Gaza, only 25% are operational due to damage or fuel shortages. The health ministry in Gaza, which is under Hamas control, does not distinguish between civilian and militant casualties, but reports that more than 11,200 Palestinians have been killed since the war started, with minors and women making up the majority. Roughly 2,700 individuals have gone missing. Hezbollah claims it launched four cross-border attacks against Israel. A-B-E-R-R-U-T, Hezbollah, a militant group based in Lebanon, claimed responsibility for four attacks that crossed the border into Israel on Thursday. Near Yifta and Metula, two Israeli military bases were targeted by missiles launched from Lebanon, according to Israel. Northern farming towns were ordered to evacuate. In response, Israel pounded militant strongholds in Lebanon and rained down heavy shelling on Lebanese territory. There were no reported injuries on the Israeli side, according to the military. Casualties in Lebanon remained unknown. March toward Jerusalem, friends and family of Hamas hostages. Jerusalem, Israel, the relatives and friends of the approximately 240 hostages held by Hamas in the Gaza Strip were among the hundreds of Israelis who marched toward Jerusalem on Thursday. The goal of the walk is to put pressure on the government to free the hostages. Midway between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, in Gezer National Park, the protesters set up camp before continuing their walk. A large number of people waved Israeli flags and carried posters featuring the hostages' likenesses. The primary objective of this conflict, according to Nili Getter, who took part in the march, is to return the soldiers home. In the beginning, on November 14, relatives gathered in Tel Aviv to embark on the protest march, which is scheduled to conclude in Jerusalem. Israel-Hamas conflict. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights addresses diaspora in Geneva. According to the UN Human Rights Chief, the Israeli occupation must end in Palestinian areas, and the right to exist of Israel must be acknowledged by all nations and peoples. Following his visit to the Middle East the previous week, Volker Turk met with diplomats in Geneva to listen to their perspectives. The head of human rights didn't just talk about Israel's military operation in Gaza and the attacks on Israeli territory by Hamas on October 7. He also voiced his worries about the escalating tensions in the West Bank. His statement was a statement of concern regarding the occupied West Bank and the attacks on Palestinians by Israeli settlers and the use of force by Israeli security forces. He emphasized his intention to sound the alert with the loudest possible tone. In his opinion, the Israeli occupation ought to come to a close. Protecting the Palestinian people's right to decide for themselves and establish their own state is of the utmost importance. Recognizing Israel's right to exist is also crucial.